Are you recording? She no 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 What's going on, my Oh, no, I can't say that. What's going on, you beautiful human beings? We're back today doing more car stuff to the Passat, unfortunately. Apparently, we've already gotten into issues and we haven't even started yet. What we're gonna do today, or what we're gonna try and do, because apparently we have an issue, is what are we, what are we doing today, Chris? <laughs> I don't even know. Hopefully, putting some arrow on this car. What arrow are we putting on today? Hopefully, we can do the diffuser and the side skirts. You heard that diffuser, side skirts, some arrow to make this thing look even meaner. We got a diffuser here. Chris, where'd you get this diffuser from? Don't gatekeep, don't gatekeep. <laughs> Drag cutters. Drag cutters, there we go. Yeah. Drag cutters, rear splitter, diffuser type thing. And then we got <laughs> side skirts here that literally look like snowboards from Splitter Gang. Do a little bit of an install video here. You know how it usually goes. We're gonna try and make this thing fun, less educational, more baggery. Look at that, you got hockey sticks. Look at that, look at those, look at those. But yeah, hopefully this thing will work out 100% like it's supposed to, but we all know that it never does. Without further ado, let's get into installing some sh We tried to jack just the rear side of his car up, but I guess static life, that's off the ground. That's very much off the ground. Gosh. What did I do? I'm telling you that the jacking point is not supposed to be right there. I think it's supposed to be farther back because then this is supposed to, it's supposed to sit like this. It wasn't sitting like that regardless. So then theoretically, what would happen if we lifted the other side? It would just, this side would come up and then that side would go down. So the front would end up being down? Yes. So do you want to try lifting up both sides? No, it's fine. Okay, I, I was just saying for the sake of science. Build by the science guy. For the sake of science. Look at that fender gap. 2,000 years later. So we figured out to put the diffuser on since it is a nut and bolt setup and not just a screw or self tap like the front splitter was, we're gonna need to take off the bumper. It wasn't as complicated as we thought, but this bumper has never come off. So of course, naturally some clips have broken and I didn't wanna film the first side just to see how far we got. So I'm gonna film the second side just to show you guys since we're in way too deep right now and show you guys the process of how you actually take the bumper off on a Passat. So for this setup, you have to unclip the headlight, take out, what was that, the bulb? It's like a bulb screw. It's like a little screw thing. Take that out. It's very simple to take out the tail light. And then you'll be met with two screws on the underside here, one and two. There's three more screws on the bottom side of the bumper since there's no exhaust outlet here. It's just a single tip on that side. And then there was what? Three screws holding in the fender liner. And then- No, four actually. Four? The top right here when you take out the fender liner, you're met by one or two screws under here that's uh, holding the bumper to the fender. Overall, a pretty simple process. We just needed the right tools and kind of figuring that out and things are popping and breaking and all that kind of good stuff. So 125,000 miles and this thing is finally coming off. So <laughs> things are bound to break, just making me worried for mine, but you know how we do, we keep it pushing. So you guys can learn from us and, and, and not do the dumbass we're doing and hopefully do it better. Yeah, definitely take your wheels off, you know. Your life's so much easier. Chris is stubborn as f 
We didn't end up taking the wheels off. We're just doing all of this on the ground for better or for worse. Uh, we might need to jack it up later to put it, the screws back in, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. You don't really need to, unless you're running a really aggressive fitment to where you can't even get a wrench or an Allen key or something like that in there to take the screws out. If you're running something simple like this, it's something that's not too aggressive, you're able to get through there. You're sh simple. It's an eight and a half wide. Come on now. It actually helps in this situation. It would be a f pain in the ass if you had some like 10 and a half wide. So once you take all the bolts out, your bumper's just being held on by these plastic clips here. It should come out hopefully with ease. Hopefully there's no rocks falling out of y'all's Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, baby, a triple. Oh, yeah. Look at that bash bar. Got the bumper off the Passat. There is so much plastic that I don't even know what to do with. We finally got Chris's bumper off. Now it's just time to mock it up and start screwing in and drilling some holes and shit like that. Look at that thing. Hardest Passat in the game. Who, who you know got a 2014 Volkswagen Passat with no bumper on. Chris, you are one of one right now. Everybody who thinks they're one of one, they're not one of one. Chris is one of one right now. Boom, baby. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it lets the de depression out when you close your doors. <laughs> let's, it lets out the depression. Yeah. Stop it. Get some help. When you get in your car, you're just full of depression and you close your door and yeah. depression's just gone. The depression gets out of I might drive around like this. No bumper. So people think my shit like boosted and stuff. When you drive around with no car pieces on your car, people tend to think that, uh, you know, there's something going on, but really there isn't. You just didn't feel like putting that shit on. Or you're just a takeover kid with a clap G35. Or that. <laughs> Next step is to mock up the holes for the diffuser and then hopefully get something working here. What we got now is we got the drill out. It's an old DeWalt power cord drill. F the battery shits. We got cords in this it's Telling us to drill a 5 16 hole into the bumper and then it'll be met by this washer nut bolt combo here. So we just mocked it up. I was gonna take a video and then Chris took it off. So now we're gonna drill the holes to hopefully make this fit. We did a bunch of measurements and you know, measure like five times, cut once and say F the bumper, buy a new bumper because you f***ed up. And then you measure again, do the same again for about three bumpers and then you'll get it right. So hopefully we get it right on the first try. Andy came over to the garage because he had nothing else better to do than to hang out with two dip for the night. Ah. Going ahead and making the first drill. This is, there's no going back from here, boys. <laughs> Woo! Oh boy, he's so nervous. scared right now. It's okay, it's okay. I just realized my drill even has a level in it. It's got a <laughs> level to know if you're drilling straight. Wait, SpongeBob, we're not cavemen. We have technology. They don't make that shit anymore, guys. It's premium. <laughs> Four holes, now four doors, more. <laughs> Sorry, it's a family friendly channel. <laughs> now they need to become bigger. This big <laughs> hole ain't fitting. <laughs> you gotta start from the bottom. Where, where you so now we're gonna just keep going a little higher and higher just until the bolt fits. Make sure it's snug so nothing falls out, but it's looking pretty good for right now. So we drilled the holes. <laughs> and <laughs> Andy, best cameraman. <laughs> Okay, now hold the bumper up and I'll put the bolts in, or the nuts. I'm gonna put my put my nuts in your bumper. I'm gonna need a, a wrench to tighten it. Hey man. Oh sh My hair is like so far down, I feel emo as sh <laughs> Hopefully it don't fall off like my splitter did. But, uh... It shouldn't, theoretically. <laughs> well, this one we actually did better than, we actually followed the rules, you know what I mean? Not try to put it in with double-sided tape and screws. This sh part about the splitter when we did it is that it came in with self tap screws that tapped into a thin piece of plastic called his bumper <laughs> and nothing else above it so the screws just naturally fell the f out oh god and to our defense we didn't have a drill either so we sat there with our bare f hands primitive age yup style. exactly and used a f screwdriver to put that sh in. switch our pov real quick real quick check out the new banner 
Give me, give me the stick. Do it fit? Yeah, it fits. All right, now grab a socket that is half inch. Socket. Socket. I know. I'm putting it back. Socket. Mark. Socket. Don't make me put my nuts in your. Don't make me put my nuts in your mouth. Y'all see? I tell him to grab a socket. He just keeps grabbing the wrench. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm looking at the wrong. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're shiny because they never get used because I'm a fake mechanic. God damn it. I mean, yeah, it could work. <laughs> half inch. He said half inch of these nuts. <laughs> That's all you got? <laughs> yeah, hold that. Yeah, it's above average. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we still got to put all these bolts back in this f***ing Oh, my. <laughs> you break it, you buy it. You can see that. You break, you buy. Please break it, please buy it. <laughs> All right, start tightening. If it's if it's getting easier to do, and you're loosening it. So I was tightening that first, you idiot. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. When I'm going to the left, you <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Why are you going to the left? Because that's how you tighten it, you dipshit. Okay, it's tight. It's tight. It's tight. Keep going. I like how it's pulling the. It's pulling the bumper. <laughs> <laughs> the torque. The torque is crazy. <laughs> What's Shit. it doing? It's an impact. Oh my. Boom. Boom, baby. Y'all know that song? Copyrighted. Copyrighted. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> It's no. good. Yo. Is it good? Yeah, it was pretty legit. <laughs> I thought he was going to be like, I thought he was going to be like, y'all f up. <laughs> How do I say this nicely to where I won't hurt their feelings? <laughs> How do you say you f up in Bosnian or, or Czechoslovakian? How do you say you f up in pasty? Wait, and you pasty? Like white? <laughs> <laughs> like my guy? <laughs> How do you say it in pasty? <laughs> Get your diffuser off wish.com. <laughs> Whoa. Look at this uh, German engineer. <laughs> das Auto, baby. Das Auto. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is definitely not it. After beating the living shit out of Chris's bumper back in, because these clips are stubborn as hell. D Damn! Spicy boy. Oh, y'all think y'all hard? Y'all think y'all hard? I bet y'all ain't never seen no shit like this. We ain't a guy. Spaceship cup. Like this. We gonna worry about that another time. Cause we can. All we gotta do is screw that. So now we're gonna bolt this back in, and then I'll show you guys a final clip of when we can actually open this garage, cause it is cold as balls. See if I had that's double exhaust. Damn. Actually, that's actually really nice. No, I think we did a great job, guys. The only thing left that we would have to do, which the reason we didn't do it is because we were iffy on how it would look, is those. What are those called? Spats. Okay. I don't know. I think this looks great. Yeah, if you had a dual exit, it would look a lot better, but the single exit still looks hard. I don't know why. Chris's car has always given me like a JDM, fast and furious, not supposed to be fast, kind of like <laughs> street build. I don't know why. It just gives me that kind of vibe. And whenever I see like the light shining off his little tippy, it just, <laughs> it looks really nice. I don't know. Oh, baby. Now, any one of you at all makes the mistake of buying a Volkswagen, specifically a Passat, you now know how to install a rear diffuser. This was actually, it was actually really good. I mean, I've never cut into like any part of a car before. So it was definitely an experience. It was kind of nerve wracking, you know, just kind of first time jitters. I think we all had that, but except for Andy, he actually does. I think it was a really good experience and I hope you guys enjoy this as much as we do. Cause honestly, I'm not just saying this cause Chris is here. He, I don't, I don't give a shit feelings it looks really good like I'm, I'm legit saying that it looks really good i'm gonna go vacuum the garage because all his pixie dust is everywhere and yeah all his parmesan <laughs> from the pumper yeah I'll, I'll catch you guys later thank you guys for watching again deuces